Hey everybody, Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Reliance School. Uh, we got into a good discussion in our Nature Reliance School Facebook group the other day about knives, and I want to make something clear. I love a lot of knives outside of the one that I designed, the Shaman East, built by LT Wright Knives. So what I thought I'd do is I'd talk about some of the knives that I absolutely love, that I own, that I've used a lot, and that are not my Shaman East. So thanks for joining me. All right, right out of the box, we got to take a look at the Shaman East. <laughs> are you crazy? If you think I'm going to talk about knives and not talk about mine some. Yeah, it's been fantastic successful. We've been very pleased. The people that have received it have been utilizing it, and it's a fantastic blade. I have some on the store, so go check it out. Now, let's get into some knives that are not my knives. First off, right out of the box, this is the first one that I ever got from Rob Cabrera. Uh, Rob Fetal Blade Works uh, does work for Double Star Corporation, their blades as well. Check this one out. It's actually a trainer, okay? And what I've been doing with this blade uh, regularly is learning how to knife fight with Rob. And that's a, been an eye opener for me. So I'm a big fan of that blade. But Rob also, uh, gave me one of these blades. Both of these, this is, I don't know what the name of this one is, and it might just be some hybrid trainer, I'm not really sure, but this is the Fang V3. This is my EDC blade. This is what I carry with me every single day now. Love it. It's got a bottle opener. It's got a hole in it. don't know what those are for. What it is for is for defending my life, and I use it for everything else you can imagine for on a daily basis. Open up boxes, open up envelopes, uh, make it a fire tender bundle, or whatever it is that I might be doing that day. All right, so the next, uh, I've got two groups of blades. One group comes from Bright Forest Forge. The other comes from LT Wright Knives, and one of them is made by Green River, actually built by me. So I wanna talk about these uh, next. So this first blade, I think this is the first one that my good friend Mado Moore made for me. It's Kephart style, uh, Hammer Forge in Wisconsin. It's got this coffin end to the, to the handle itself. These are fantastic blades. I actually did a, a review, I'll link in the, description for that blade, fantastic. I've used it a lot in the backwoods. This is probably my favorite blade made by him. I've used this a tremendous amount. This is a long hunter style blade. This is actually one of the inspirations for my knife, the Shaman East, that's built by LT Wright. Um, this is a uh, traditional design made by, again, Bright Forest Forge, long hunter style, uh, long knife, Shaman East, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he, I think he made this sheath as well. I don't think he typically makes sheaths, but he did make this one for me. This is a belt sheath, kind of unique that you just slide it into the belt and this keeps it from sliding on down through. Love that blade. I have done a crap ton of work with that blade. And last but not least, made by him, is this knife right here. And I don't really know if this is a one-off or if this is something he sells regular, just check out Bright Forest Forge. He has an Etsy, he has an Instagram, uh, check those. I never made it, he gave me this without a sheath and I never made a sheath because my full intent is to build a pouch that I am gonna put this knife into. So I never did make a sheath for it. I've just been waiting to build that rifleman's pouch. Now that I have my, my long rifle that I'm building, as soon as I get done building the rifle, I'm gonna build a pouch myself and I'm gonna put this into the pouch in a very unique way that was very traditional. So you'll wanna check that out as we come to it. Now, let's take a look at some of these LT Wright blades and a couple of different other things that are important to understand. Now, this next knife uh, is an incredibly unique knife. It's not made by LT Wright, but it is made by Blind Horse Knives. And I'm not missing that up. A lot of you all might know Battle Horse Knives, uh, some that know how all things used to be. It used to be Battle Horse Knives and LT Wright and Dan worked together at that particular company, and this knife was made back then. I don't think they made a lot of these. This is basically a Tonto blade. Uh, this is probably one of my most favorite blades that I have as well. Obviously, I've got a lot of favorite blades. I've got this whole toolbox right here is full of knives, and I've just pulled out some of my favorites, okay? Um, the reason I love this is this actually has the traditional Tonto styling. That cut, uh, angular blade that most people call Tonto is not the traditional way that those blades were made. And uh, from a traditional Japanese perspective, this is how they actually looked very similar to this. Uh, it has this uh, Kydex handle on it that's got these cutouts on it, makes it easier to grip uh, for a fighting blade. And I absolutely love this blade. Came with a Kydex sheath, and I've actually had this on my kit for a long time. That's why it's all painted up. Fantastic blade. Love that blade. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's in production anywhere at this point. 
Next one I want to point out is my LT Ray Genesis. I've got this. I bought this used like a lot of guys do on one of the forums, um, uh, Facebook forums. I bought it a long time ago and I absolutely used and abused this knife for several years until I designed and started utilizing the Shaman East. This was my go-to knife. Fantastic blade. You absolutely positively cannot go wrong with these blades. If you like this style, um, go for it. You cannot go wrong with this blade. Last but not least, this is actually a Green River blade that my son put together with uh, ebony handles on it. This is some sort of, I can't remember the, the horn that this is off of. I actually can't remember. It's a beautiful handle that he uh, and I put together when he was much, much younger. We've utilized this knife to process a lot of deer, squirrels, small game, stuff of that nature. Uh, utilize, utilize it as a shop knife, just do general stuff. It actually uh, typically stays on the workbench at the house. And so we use it for a whole lot of stuff. Uh, I can't remember, I think, yeah, just looking at it, pretty sure I made this sheath. I can't remember if I did or Zane did, but looking at it, pretty sure I made this one. And he was really wanting a, a scout carry, small of the back carry, which I'm not a big fan of small of the back carry, and he isn't either now that he's a lot older. But he had that for a while, and we utilize it. I think when he does carry it now, he wears it left side front. So yeah, really cool blade. I show this because it's always good for you to put some, just buy a blade, put a handle on it, and you have a knife that is really easy to put together. I've got a video for that. I'll find a video and link for that as well. And that way you can have something that you yourself have made along with some of these other fine craftsmen if these blades interest you as well. So check them out. Bright Forest Forge, LT Wright Knives, and uh, Rob Cabrera at Philo, that's F-I-L-O, Blade Works and Double Star Corporation, Double Star Blades. So yeah, bunch of blades, hope you like them, check them out. If you like something, pick them up, pick you one up. Come on, join in, let's go cut something together.